Hello everyone and welcome back to Endzone. Now, in the last time we failed uh, from this scenario, so we will try today again. And I'm thinking I will try to take apart the game and trying to figure out how much food we really need for how many people and how much water we need for X amount of people and... And it's a different map. Say there, youngster, did I wake since Yep. It looks like a different map. Oh, that's an interesting spin on things. Okay. Okay, so this is the, the normal way to move around this thing. All right. No, this is the same map. Yeah, okay. Just a little bit of different placement. Now, okay, I can see it. But that would be cool if the scenarios will have random maps. Because this is the vantage point we have last time. And the bus was here, up there, but doesn't really matter. Okay, so two things. Uh, we need food and we need uh, water. Water first. So. Let's gather everything we can from here. We assign... Let's do two builders this time. The tutorial uh, introduced us to three builders. Well, the trees are on a different position because we have a lot of trees there last time. So let's put the jetty there, and I think I will do a fishing hut as well, to start with it. And then we will place uh, some uh, orchard. Maybe we should do that in mid- no, let's clear some rubble here, and we will put some orchard right there. Because these need time to grow, and it's better to, to put them down earlier, I think. However, I have to keep in mind that I have to water them later. Anyway, let's go fast for a little bit. Oh, and we need a cistern. And I put down some road immediately. gives uh, a small structure for the settlement. And I think it was a mistake to put uh, the woodcutter there. And just to have enough tasks. What? Oh, I can only place one of these. All right. 
when it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's put one worker here. Or put uh, one. Just one for now. Maybe we started the tutorial with more people. Maybe. Yeah, I think we have to start putting down a few houses right away. So we can have more people. Okay, the system, we need three guy. Okay, that's taken care of. I think I will put some crops here. Because we can build another jetty and another system water tower near here. the bigger one and we have different uh, seeds now so there is some uh, randomness okay now that taken care of I think we have to focus on uh, the industry now and for that start the scrapyard Let's move this guy over there and we can build a scrapyard here. And we can build a dirt road right there. best place or is it because the toxic rain these apple trees will yield us 171 food ok let's uh, we are in the season 2 let's check this 
We just lose things. That's not good. We should be able to increase things. Well, I think Okay, so they can gather things. Hmm. But if I put a gatherer's cabin down here, that means I cannot really progress this way with my settlement. But I can still or I put it somewhere here, but uh, well, I can later still demolish it. So let's put that there and make some roads. Maybe we really need another builder. Let's produce cloth. We have two unassigned workers, but I want to assign them here. So they can gather food. Well, that's... That's not much. And after that, it will be over, and that's it. Oh, so there is not much food here together. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I wish I could know that before I put in this... Oh, there's growing stuff. Okay. This is for scrap, right? Yeah. You can get our scrap there and you're fine. And gathering wood... Well, around here. That's the problem. Oh, we don't have workers for that. Well, yes, we have one unassigned worker, so what the hell? Okay, season three. Let's check this stuff. No, this is just showing the consumption. Okay, 
Now that's that's better. So the system with three people is working fine right now. And can we see that here? Okay, we need to build a shelter. So people will have housing, and but I don't want to build too many of these cabins. Maybe one more. Yeah, the problem here that we need protective gear as well. We need uh, uh, tools. Yeah, so that's that's the main problem here. And we need more people for that, but more people means more food and more water. Okay, the cistern is full. We're almost full. That's good. We have shelters, so... All of the settlers will have living spaces. The shelter will provide for 25 people. Yeah. Okay, now let's think about our next move. To keep the colony going, we need uh, tools and we need protective gear. So, basically we need two, one more recycler for metal and we need a tailor for protective gear. So let's do that first. However, if we don't don't have unassigned workers, yeah. That means we cannot uh, gather wood. Which will be a problem eventually. Reserve six, that, that means we, okay, let's.
Let's make a little experiment here. Well, why are we experimenting? We should at least build a tailor. So we can start producing protective gear. Reserve 40. But we are still in season 4. Reserve 20. 36. It's, it's random. It's so freaking random. That's good for sickness. Don't have to max out everything. Cloth for this. And why don't you producing it? Oh, so they are spending time to moving resources around as well. That's why we will need uh, these storage buildings. Logistics. Uh, not a trading post. Temporary storeroom. Yep. We could chuck down a couple of uh, those here. Let's see. Yeah, this is only showing the consumption. But that's that's weird. Two seasons ago, we consumed uh, four or four four water, but the last season we only consumed forty eight. That doesn't make sense. It should be around the same, at least. people who are free so we can not a scrapyard a recycler and maybe I putting one more there But I won't, don't put anybody in there for now. 
I just want to have the building and when we have the population to uh, man it, we will do that. Yeah, and I think I went for the gas mask too early. In the last game. Because we still don't, we don't have a, a problem with radiation right now. Okay, we should stop this. Yeah, because that one free settler probably worked on scraps and not on wood. Reserve metal. Metal can be converted from scrap. Recycle or refine is need to do this. Metal is more robust material than metal. Can used for improved, improved tools or special buildings. Maybe the reserve means that. Uh, hold on a minute. So this is zero and. I see what he put it he put the metal what what is happening okay guys if you if you can give me a, a hand here I would appreciate it what am I missing What are you carrying? Don't know. What are you doing with that stuff? Oh, that's a jerry can. Okay, and this guy doing the, uh, the recycling stuff. Okay, he finished. So two is reserved. Because he bringing that stuff into the bus. Okay, then, then two metal is just disappeared. We go back to his little tent and just... But well, okay. Now when he got back, we are getting the metal. Weird. That's weird. 
Okay, at least we are not losing anything. We have five children. Okay, we will wait. I think we are good with food for now. Oh, and it, it yields us some wood. And then we are waiting for those two child to mature and then we can we can employ them here in the plastic recycler. Oh, you're auto saving right now. Why are you moving like that? You can move around. Okay, I think uh, we should clear you can gather from there and I rather clear stuff from here and I think that goes for the recycler as well And we could employ more people on the fishing hut. Maybe that's what uh, uh, was another reason we failed the last time. Because we employed minimum uh, workers for a building. And we built it another one and another one. And we can wrap up the production if we just uh, put more... Uh, if we fully staff uh, a building. You know what? We don't need that many gatherers. We need one more fisherman. And if we can uh, make a good amount of food reserves, that's also a nice thing to have. Especially because a drought is coming. Okay, I think we can speed up things just a little bit. You know what? We could use a, a rain catcher if... No, we need plastic for that. Okay. Come on, kids, grow up. I 
because we need someone uh, to recycle plastic and we need another guy for oh let's let's build uh, the workshop Yeah, it takes also metal to build it. When those kids are finally grow up, they will have uh, their workplaces. I wonder if our settlers can die from old age. Right there, building one more house. Yes, I dare. And we could use some uh, decorations. like a street lamp oh let's okay now can do this and we can do this and the next children who will grow up they will uh, they will go to the food industry I think we have enough water for this uh, for the drought when it comes whoa these are very big and nice trees When we collected enough plastic, we can make... Uh... Oh, we need coal for the water tower. Hmm. Okay, I think uh, then we put a forest here or a woodcutter here. We were planting some trees and then we can start uh, cutting them down.
And the infosetters are getting older and older, Chief. A lot of them think the time has come again to provide for uh, for offspring so that our settlement doesn't go under due to overaging. We ask you to provide us with dwellings in order to have children, Chief. Okay, so they can die of old age. All right, uh, how can I? Okay, that's what I wanted to deactivate that production and... So we need uh, to consider that our settlers will die from old age. Thanks a lot, Chief. We really needed a new generation of offspring uh, to be able to survive in this barren landscape into the, into the future, too. Okay, I was just hesitant to do that because I don't want to grow the population quickly. I think then we can put down another cabin and I think I figured things out. Uh, with food because we are doing much much better Let's do some more roads. It is still yielding some food okay but during a drought we cannot produce basically any food well we can uh, do uh, with animals if we have water stored so that's still a, a possibility. But if you cannot do anything here, then maybe you can gather scrap faster. Or, even better, let's have another builder. And you guys go gather some stuff. Like wood. I hope the settlers are uh, really getting older and die of old age and that message wasn't just a trick. Too bad I cannot see age groups.
Okay, we need three here, two here, and we can assign everyone to do something. And I think I can remove this. Because we will put fields here and... And we will put a gatherers here. If we really have to. Because I want to put more... Uh, two crops field here and I think... I think we will do another uh, orchard. So, because we need the space. Okay, it's demolished. What's our workforce situation? We have two people. Now let's cultivate some fields. go with the squash it's quicker we already have two assigned no What's that? because we have two assigned here okay we have still one unassigned workforce so let's go with the trees. And when we have uh, more children, we can do... Uh, uh, how about a mine? Speaking of children, the children are yearning for the mines. We have to research that. All right. When we build the charcoal kiln, but we don't uh, put any workers uh, in it. And we are okay with radiation poison, so that's not a problem that we really have to worry about. And to increase uh, our birth rate, Let's first of all uh, a dirt road here and here. And before that dirt road, we're putting down some decoration, but it cost us 25 wood 
So they are putting down one there. Sixty wood for a campfire. We can build a forum right here, and it also increases the attractiveness of the location. Should we do it? That's the question. No, I think I think we are not ready for that. Let's just keep going and doing what we are doing. So we have an edge there, so that increases the attractiveness of the location a little bit. Okay, we are getting a lot of children. Nine, and by I can see only six. And we could use a school, of course. And I think I will do one more uh, woodcutter, and we will put one worker here. Basically, we're doing quite well, uh, Chief. We have everything we need for our survival, but some of us still think there could be a bit more after all. That group wants to stay on the safe side so that we have supplies when bad times come, too. Actually, not a bad idea at all. Okay, and we have to... Oh, but we have a time limit on this. Okay. This is the easier one. We need a little bit of more wood and a little bit of more water. For the water, we need uh, the charcoal kiln. And for that, we need more people to get adult and join the workforce. Maybe I should build the forum and check if I can do a decree where children have to work. They could tend the garden. Yeah, we don't have uh, idle workers for that. But, we can say you have to cut down trees and move here. That's a thing, actually. Or we could just build another freaking cistern, but 
then we need uh, workers for that. And we max this one out. So, yeah, we need another system. No surprises there. And that means we need... Okay, so we put two of these kids uh, to the waterworks. Okay, I'm interested if we do this, that we are going back to metal tools. Yeah, it's... We have to have that many stuff. And we need carbon masks. Okay. So we really, really need this charcoal kiln to work. We have. We still have uh, time for this. So Walter will go to the charcoal kiln to start production immediately. Come on Walter, grow up! Yeah, in the previous uh, game, I I get ahead myself pretty well with the herbs and and stuff. Okay, Walter is an adult, so he can work here. And Olivia and Antonio will bring us more water. Or maybe not. Maybe. Okay, I really need uh, to cut down those two trees. Or maybe... Yeah, we have to clear them. So I think I don't assign them uh, to anything. I want them to clear those two specific trees because they are in the way. Yeah. And cut down the other one. Okay, now. Let's check the road system a little bit. Okay, that's good. So. Hmm. Yeah. That. And. We'll do another field here. And we're choosing another squash. And we already have one workforce there. No, it doesn't seem like that. So we do that. Move this here in case we will have three workers. And I want someone there. And we will have coal.
And I think we will need another orchid here. And I want to just prepare. Ah, irrigation. Yep. We can put some uh, orchid there. Yeah, but our food stocks are dwindling, my liege, if you catch that reference. Okay, before before the carbon mask thingy. No, we can we can have that many water stored. No problem. So let's switch to this. Whoa, we only need the carbon masks now. That's great. Okay, I can see this is a more chilled scenario because there are no no time pressure just yet. Your settlers are extremely pleased that you made sure that we able to work so well with that we've got in stock. The mood uh, at the settlement is getting better and better. Okay, and I don't want to do anything else about that. We still have to provide a steady production. And I could use more people... Uh, in the production facilities. We will have more people very, very soon. We are switching back uh, to next cars. So we can uh, upgrade this to a water tower. Yeah, we can do that sooner or later. And yeah, we need more workforce for scrap production. Luckily, we have one. And we will have more soon. But those guys going into the water and food industry. Speaking of uh, food industry, well, we can wait for a little bit before we put down the other trees. And 
after that I think we should research. Ah, so we can see the, how the upgrade is going. They're waiting for coal. They are almost there. And that means if we will have enough uh, coal, uh, not coal, we have enough water, then we can afford to water the plants during a drought. And that is a handy ability. Uh, did I construct the road? The road here, yes. The road is there. Okay. A little bit of more food. Come on, just grow up. That's it. And we have to select the seed. Signed. Maybe it's time for a forum. Yeah, because that will increase the Let's put the forum there. Yeah. We have metal. We don't have the scrap for that. So we need to increase the workforce there. Yeah, and with the on oncoming drought, we need to uh, have maximum workers there. And we have maximum workers here. No, we don't have maximum workers. We just cannot assign anyone. That's a bit different. Yeah, let's assign here.
Okay, I think we cleared enough there. So let's go here for wood. Okay, now these are very, very happy. Let's... Uh, we can ration, banish other, banish children, birth control, we don't need that. And we have to research these motivation. So of course, to motivate to move faster than before. Your settlers are pay paying attention to the radio messages from other survivors who are willing to join up with your settlement under certain conditions. The effect of the lasting decree has an ongoing impact on the settlement until its abandoned period. The point in time where the decree is no longer in force has elapsed. Well, we could use more people. Oh, wait a minute. We are facing... We are facing a drought pretty soon. I think we will start... However, more people would mean that we can prepare better, but if they are coming... But only three season, so they will be arriving before the drought. Let's do it. Let's check out how this works. All set, uh, Chief. In the near future, we will be on the lookout for radio messages sent out by other survivors and notify you if we are running into anything. Yeah, we need a school. We need just scrap for that. Okay. Hey Chip, you just picked up a radio, radio message. There are survivors from another end zone who are looking for a new home. They think uh, they think about joining us if we can meet their high demands for housing, uh, protective clothing, and rations. We really could use additional workforce, but it's worth the effort at the moment. Okay, let's do this. Food produce, water produce. Metal at all produced. Radiation suit produced. Okay. Let's check if we can produce radiation suit. We can. But at least we have only have to produce it. And not maintain a stock. And we will need another shelter soon. Okay. We need a lot more scrap. But we maxed out this building. Uh, 
But we, we, are, yes, we are using some plastic here. No. Okay, how about stopping the production? That means no, but we can remove one and now we have uh, cleaned up one settler and I don't uh, want to do anything with him. Uh, I just want to preserve more scrap. And what will be the reward? We do not have any place where they can learn to survive this hostile environment sens uh, sensibly and effectively. We ought to make sure that they can go to school chief. Well, sooner or later. Oh, we got a knowledge. Okay. It is school time then. No, I don't like that. Okay, we are getting scrap. Okay, what's that? Decrease issued. What? Okay, that's the more pressing matter. but that's not an interesting location anyway we're still going there scholar often can learn everything they need to survive in this settlement. It was good that you built the school chief. Okay. Okay, we are going with productivity. And I think we are good with food. No, we are not good with food. I think we can do better with food and we can also do better with water. Because we can have more workforce for water
yeah we can do a lot more Can we upgrade this? No. Yeah, we need to. Th I think the water is still good, but we need to think about food a little bit more. Like putting another man. Oh, we can. Fishing. Maybe for, for the trees. what to do about scrap because as the game will go on uh, we have to move more and more for scrap and we need that scrap for for producing protective gear Oh, six more settlers. Okay, that will be the reward. Nice. No, we don't want to do a feast. Forget about feasting. I think the next step would be research and uh, basically that's it research and then the exploration station But I want to survive the draw. Maybe increasing our coal production.
Well, if the location attractiveness go down that much, let me put it here. I don't care about this attractiveness, but I do care about these. Or all that stuff. Let's uh, remove this. We can do that little bit of road. We could do the research station. We can build it here. Why not? And it will hurt nobody. And also, materials will be much closer. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, we will get this sixth guy. No problem. of stuff for this but we have a lot of stuff stored so it shouldn't be a, that much of a problem still I don't know uh, the long-term solution for scrap and that's bothering me should I just uh, put down a scrap yard wherever I like and collect the scrap because they have to move that back the base How does that work, guys? Maybe we can do some kind of research for that. Maybe. Okay, so now someone has died. Oh, two people died because we were we had 30. That means some workers just uh, were just removed. Okay, I still don't want to do that. So How about no? Yeah, we are missing a workforce. Amazing ship, we managed to meet all their demands and they are on their way to our settlement. Every helping hand makes us stronger. We should prepare a warm welcome for that. We ought to make some space available to the Outlanders to help them forget their long and exhausting journey. As a quick workaround, a shelter would probably be the best solution. We could provide them with a campfire too. Our liquor produced. Okay, we can do a campfire. Oh. It's a little bit big. You know what? I don't really want to do this. I don't want to produce hard liqueur. We could get medicine, but we can do that anyway. 
And now, don't pay attention and there's the drought. It's almost over. Okay, so what should we research? Oh, we need a research utensils. And we big meal. Oh, if we have seeds for hemp. We can produce cloth without gathering scrap. Wheat, bell pepper, corn, potato, black uh, something, lupine, carrot, zucchini, tomato, hemp. All right. Improve radio mast warehouse. We can research electronics can be covered from scrap scrap that's a good one technology and defense weather station advanced school immunity Def okay so it's not open the whole thing all right i think the, the electronics that we need that resource So research that. And now I understand the knowledge point. So the research facility is slowly generating knowledge points and I have to spend them. Okay. That makes much more sense. Unassigned workforce. A lot. Okay, let's uh, think here. We will need the expeditions to get more uh, uh, kind of seeds for us. That's one thing. You are researching that. That's fine. You are fully staffed. That's also fine. Food. We still uh, have to think about food. That's it. We need we need animals. We need animals because animals can be fed during a drought. So for that, uh, we will need uh, also also let's. Put this uh, irrigation thing there, or maybe there, so we can put down more things, at least there, and we can put, well, I think we'll put the animals here, so let's uh, just do that. Let's put a hunter. Here.
Oh. The average health is lowering. Okay, let's back to next scarves. Okay. Let's do one hunter and let's do some capture. And I have seen some boars there. Okay guys, I think uh, this will be a good point to end the episode. We made a much better progress than uh, last time and I think we have a chance here. Anyway, if you like the video, please consider to put a like on it, subscribe, also comment down below because I can use a few tips uh, for this game uh, and thank you for watching, I see you in the next one. Bye.